On my kicker tonight, I don't have very complimentary things to say about the first week of the debate, if I can call it that, of the BBI report. Right from the launch exactly eight days ago tonight, politicians wasted no time in first making the report just about themselves and secondly making it a contest between one side against another. The typically Kenyan mentality of us versus them that characterizes literally every political conversation in this country. It has been a really disappointing start. First, for whatever reason, the first week has been about angry conversations. Nearly all the politicians who spoke this week about the BBI report were angry, raging mad. Some were shouting, others were screaming, and others were snarling. I did not see one single happy politician, just growling faces. Secondly, there was little reference to the content of the BBI report as attention went instead to the formations, be they real or imagined, and in these formations, one can tell that the divide is between supporters of the President Uhuru Kenyatta and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga on one side and those of Deputy President William Ruto on the other. Then there is that intra-jubilee divide between President Kenyatta and his Deputy Ruto, a divide that is taking a life of its own, especially in Kenyatta's backyard of Central Kenya region. Anger was one observation this week. The second one is outright divisionism. Soon after that BBI launch, politicians began talking about our people. And they have since retreated to regional Caucasus, whose real causes are ethnic or outright tribal. In totality, the first week of the so-called debate on the BBI has not been about real substance. It has been at best a petty market brawl about nothing specific. We have seen not just anger, but also arrogant chest thumping and veiled threats. Not the kind of language, verbal or bodily, necessary to what is supposed to be a process of national renewal. This kicker tonight urges all political leaders to raise their standards. In the interest of this country, they should raise the quality of the BBI discourse. In a week's time, Kenya turns 56, yes, 56 years of independence. Even in person terms, a 56-year-old person is a mature adult capable of reason, good judgment, and, importantly, fair temperament. That is what adult politicians our country must make our country, even if they do not agree on BBI or any other of the many issues that divide them. I noticed a week ago that some Kenyans were not happy to be given lessons in nationhood by eloquent Tanzanian Foreign Affairs Minister Palamagamba John Aidan Kabudi. To those who got offended, join me in urging our political leaders to raise the standards of political discourse in the country. Because if they don't, then Kenya may need and may be forced to engage that fluent mature Tanzanian politician as a full-time teacher in the daycare center politicians often reduce our country to. All I'm saying is, it is possible to talk about BBI without snarling or growling or without threatening or hating. To all our political leaders, and I mean all of them, just be civil and give it another try next week. That is my kicker.